How has Michael Jackson survived cancellation? At the time, he was the biggest star on the planet with a huge fan base that treated his music like a religion. Also, he was never convicted with supposed kid diddling shit. Currently, it's because he dead. Survived. Oh God, who wants to tell him? He didn't just survive it, he beat it. Cause he's dead. He didn't really. A lot of people cancelled him when the news painted him as a sexual predator and someone who put his child in danger over that ledge. It just wasn't called cancelling back then. Dying gets you out of it. He was never convicted of anything. I don't think he even had a successful civil lawsuit filed against him, which has a lower burden of proof. Edit I forgot he settled one suit out of court. Not everyone who settles is guilty. Nuisance lawsuits take advantage of the fact that sometimes it's cheaper to settle even when one is innocent. But I wasn't there and I don't know what happened and I'm hoping he was innocent. Because he's dead. Buying or listening to his music doesn't support him anymore. Because he made Thriller. Actually he was permanently cancelled in 2009. He's dead. Maybe he was innocent. He was never really found guilty of the bad things said about him. Surely he was a very odd man and clearly had some mental trauma from his childhood, but I always saw him as someone who was still a child at heart than someone with bad intentions towards children. How has Kanye? Because getting cancelled is a right-wing myth that doesn't really happen. Seriously. How many people truly get cancelled? They might lose some jobs or opportunities, but even Cosby didn't stay in jail that long. Because he's dead, and because some of the songs are such goddamn masterpieces that it's very hard to let go of them. The proceeds from his music go to his kids anyway, and if anything, they are victims in some sense too. He was tried and found innocent, so there's that, but the general consensus is quite divided on if he was actually innocent or guilty. There was massive backlash and I do believe it impacted his career greatly. As others pointed out, he's dead. Might as well ask why nobody is going after JFK for being a womanizer. But it's also worth noting two other items. First that his scandals were before the age of social media. So there wasn't the same environment of instant calls to action. Second is that there was backlash when the allegations surfaced. Huge backlash. It somewhat softened after his death since he died protesting that it never happened and there was an actual criminal trial where he was not found guilty. Whether you think the verdict was correct or not, there was a trial. Cancellation isn't real outside the minds of 13-21 year olds. Nobody in real life actually cares about being cancelled. He wrote Thriller, Dog. Thriller. I think because he actually went to trial, and was found not guilty, we kind of collectively agree that he did nothing wrong. When it comes to other pop stars, say Gary Glitter, he was found guilty and went to prison, so he has been cancelled in that his music is no longer widely played sold. Same reason all the old Hollywood and music stars avoided cancellation. I'd say a large majority of the stars in the 60s 80s were fucking children. One went as far as having a 14-year-old girl's parents sign over guardianship of her so he could bring her on tour with him Steven Tyler. Edit here's the ones I know off the top of my head in case anyone was interested. Elvis, Jimmy Page, Chuck Berry, Mick Jagger, David Bowie, Jerry Lee Lewis, Bill Wyman, Marvin Gaye, the list is endless. He died before the popularity of it. He was dead before that was a thing. Mostly because he died years before the cancel culture thing started kicking off. There are plenty of artists who have done much worse than what he has been accused of. I mean Elvis married that girl at such a young age. Being dead mainly. At the time we were innocent until proven guilty, and the people relied on the justice system to do its job. So when Michael Jackson wasn't found guilty, no one cancelled him. Now we don't have those things. He's dead. He was cancelled just as much as J.K. Rowling with the same effect. 
just without social media. He didn't, he died. Died. He didn't, brother's fucking dead. His entire life was cancelled. By a drug overdose. By not surviving. Multiple investigations by multiple law enforcement agencies came up with zero convictions or credible accusations. Regarding the main accusation accuser. The father of the child is a convicted fraudster who talked about getting as much money from MJ as possible. Once the child himself turned 18 and was no longer under the influence of his father, he stated that the abuse never happened. In summary, there's never been a credible accusation against him, and he was never convicted despite intense scrutiny and investigations. Everything else is pure speculation. Survived. He didn't. I'm sorry to inform you, bro, but he dead. Because he's dead. And his music is almost universally considered to be great. And because there hasn't been any significant evidence to prove anything. Well, he is dead. That's usually helps protect from cancelling. Though not always. He was acquitted. That means he was not guilty. Justice matters. Very few people can go through the government trying to single you out and murder you, investigating every inch of your life, and finding absolutely nothing criminal. Ninth commandment is do not bear false witness. It's just as bad to falsely accuse, perhaps, as to do an evil act, since the convicted person suffers proportional harm to the crime as the victim suffered many times. He's never been found guilty of any wrongdoing even after being investigated by the FBI. Cause by the time people really accepted what was going on he was borderline irrelevant then dead and it didn't matter. I didn't think he survived at all. Bro he's dead. Dude got cancelled by life itself. Easy answer to this question at the time of MJ alive, there wasn't such a stupid thing like cancel culture. Because he's a smooth criminal. Yes, but he died in the process. Because cancel culture isn't real. It's just celebrities doing stupid things that make their fans dislike them. Celebrities call it cancelling to make it seem like it's not their fault, and far-right ideologues call it cancelling to make it seem like their ideology isn't the problem. Because he is a smooth criminal. A well-documented childhood full of abuse and a preventable death before cancelling people became a big thing. Everyone's in these comments saying he would be cancelled if he was alive still, but there is nothing known or proven about his life would have cancelled him from media today. Because he was put on trial and found not guilty? I have no facts, so please correct me. I saw the HBO doc, and thought it was bunk, but not because of an interest in Jackson let's put it this way I'm more of a Brian Wilson listener, but I know talent when I see it, and MJ had talent, but that doc felt phony. Because he's dead? Same reason Jerry Lee Lewis still gets his music played though he married his 13 maybe 14? Yo cousin. Because cancel culture is essentially a propaganda tool. It doesn't really exist. Name me three people who have been effectively and permanently cancelled. I'll wait. The court case was a travesty. It was clear that the dad was coaching his children to try to win some money. But there are a number of people, such as Macaulay Culkin who basically lived with Jackson when they were kids, and they seem to have nothing bad to say about him. Michael Jackson was definitely weird. And suffered abuse as a child himself. But it was never clearly shown that he was abusing kids himself. Negative x negative positive. He dead times cancellation forever loved. Because all the allegations were later proven false. The accusers admitted it was phony. Dude literally got financially and socially ruined by false child molestation accusations for over a decade. That's like the definition of getting cancelled. Probably by dying. By not surviving life. He didn't. Michael's been dead for over 13 years. Dave Chappell said it best he made Thriller.